What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a two-in-one custom figure review and they are both Mr. Extreme himself, Jeff Hardy. I am so excited for these custom elite figures. They look amazing. I made the one on the left and then me and Brock Lock made the one on the right and I am absolutely in love with both of them. So sick. Um, after seeing Ringside Fest 2017, we are getting, I believe, three elite Jeff Hardys this year and those are going to look amazing up next to these two so I cannot wait for those to release but in the meantime we do have these customs to you know use in the pick fed and enjoy um, before those get released so what I'm going to do is start off with the one on the left and review it real quick tell you guys how you can make it and then I will review the one on the right and then uh, yeah so let's just go ahead and get started all right guys this first Jeff right here is one that you can actually make yourself if you guys have an elite one you know uh cast or something like that i did uh get this head scan from brock lock he has a bunch of cast made so if you want one of those you can hit him up he does sell them that is brock lock 76 on instagram very good customizer a lot of great things um that is where i get this head scan from it is the elite one prototype head scan and i believe that he threw a j or jimmy uso hair um piece and attached it to the head scan i believe that is what this is but um yeah he painted up the head and um when i got it i did repaint it i thought the eyes were a bit big so i did repaint it to make it uh more accurate more better looking in my opinion um not a big deal but you know i did touch it up we do have the necklace right here under the neck and that is um that is from a uso uh elite as well so um, the body is a Seth Rollins Elite 25, so the torso, you know, is that full black with the shoulders as well. And the arms are a Finn Balor Basic, so, you know, you have the full black sleeve arms, so these are not painted. Nothing on this is painted besides the belt. I did paint that, and then the head scan, of course. Um, and then the hands are pretty crazy. It's sort of a Frankenstein effort. I took the right hand from a Dean Ambrose Shield Elite, and then I took the left hand from a Drew McIntyre Basic, so that way I could have two open hands. Um, with the black tape on there. I had those in my fodder bin, so I went ahead and put those on there. The crotch and upper legs are the Shield um, Seth Rollins still, and they look amazing. You know, they have the pockets. They're black, fully posable. Don't have to worry about paint or nothing like that. And that's where we go into the lower legs. Same thing. These are Fandango Elite lower legs, and um, I stole this. I stole a play out of Wrestling Hero Fix playbook. Um, he is the one that told me about this formula, so shout out to Wrestling Hero Figs. Um, a good friend of mine and just a beast um, on YouTube as well. But uh, yeah, removed all the decals so you know you have the full black pants. And then finally, I threw some Dolph Ziggler boots on there. And the reason I did that is because he does have the black and white on the boots. And he does have the strap down there. So looks very good, very accurate, very nice Jeff Hardy. Um, very easy to make this thing. If you have the head scan, you can even put a Jax head scan on there if you wanted to. But um, I'm happy with this. You will be seeing him on MDT Live. If you didn't watch MDT Blackout, be sure to go watch that. There is a little segment in there that talks about, um, you know, Jeff Hardy coming to MDT Live. So very excited for that. But now that we have taken a look at this Jeff Hardy, now we can take a look at the other one. All right, guys, getting into Jeff Hardy custom number two. Um, this is the same exact head scan formula for this one as the last Jeff Hardy. We have that Elite One prototype head repainted by Brock Lock, and then he did throw the hairpiece on there again from the Usos. And I don't know if you can tell, but the eyes are a little bit bigger here as um, what I was talking about from the last custom. Um, I may be touching this one up as well, you know, just to uh, so I'll feel better about it, um, so it'll look better in my opinion, but... Again, not a big deal, but this head is just like the last one. It's not fully on there. It's not like you have to pop it on, and it's not loose, so it's very easily uh, removable. You don't have to worry about, you know, heating it up and popping it off or whatever. But here's the head scan. You can pop it off relatively easy. It's like a cast, so um, it pretty much is just, it sits up in there, and it's really tight, so you don't have to worry about it. You know, I can shake it. It won't fall off or anything, so um, underneath there you have a entrance uh, shirt that I had made from Ring Bling Customs, best shirt maker in the world. Um, very, very nice. I love all of his quality. Um, so I wanted this made for his entrance. So there it is if he were to be in the pick fed, but, um, or if he were to wear this attire or whatever, he still may wear that to the ring. But um, underneath there you do have this stretchy, uh, you know, tank top shirt that is black and it is from overseas. So it is fully... Uh, cloth. You don't have to worry about Velcro or any of that jazz. Um, but getting into the parts for this, underneath here is a Miz torso, shoulders, and arms. Um, and it is fully painted, you see, by the, the arms and the uh, tattoos underneath. But I will do that in just a second. I wanted to cover the parts and stuff first. Um, going down into the legs, you do have a shield crotch. 
with shield upper legs and then down below it is not fandango lower legs it is tnf rock lower legs um you know from wrestlemania 31 i believe it was um that elite from walmart and um these are a bit wide in my opinion as you see here it's pretty uh, beefy right there and it is a little bit wider than the upper legs but it's not too bad when you uh you know stand back and look at it um, and these are just a placeholder. I'm not going to leave it like this. I just, uh, it's all I had right now until I get another Fandango Elite. So I will be switching that out. Um, and then these shoes are um, Cesaro Elite 23 feet. And I do like the way that looks. You know, you still have that black with white um, like Jeff Hardy wears. But now we can get into some of this paint detail on the arms here. He did paint up those Miz arms. Um, we have gray on this side and lime green on this side. And these are actually glow in the dark. Um, if I can, maybe I will uh, turn these lights off. Maybe you will be able to see it. I'm not sure, but um, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe a little bit. Uh, probably not. But anyways, uh, turning the lights back on here. Um, very happy with the way those arms came out. I do like the way they look. And now I can take off this shirt and show you guys what the tattoos look like underneath. Um, it is very, very nice. Um... It's sort of hard to get off, that's why I don't like really taking it off, but I thought about like maybe if I, um, in the pig fed I wanted to like, you know, do a big uh, spot or something like that, maybe he can, um, you know, do his little extreme sign and then um, take his shirt off like he does in real life. But here we go, we have the arms off. It is that Miz style torso, but on the back here you can see... Um, I believe he is missing some of his tattoos, so he doesn't have all of his tattoos, which is sort of disappointing, but it's not a huge deal. You have that snake wrapping up his ribs right there, and then going up over here, you have the roots going down his neck. You have the Hardy logo right there on the back of the neck, and then you do have that little demon on the side of his neck right here. He is missing the other demon that's supposed to be on the other side, but again... The uh, snake is right there in his armpit right there. You see the snake's face, which looks so incredible. I love the way that looks. I think it came out really nicely. Uh, Brock Lock is a beast on the customs. Uh, very good hand painter like BEW, but you see, still see the roots going down his arm here. You really can't see him underneath the arms. I think that's smart. That way, you, I mean, yeah, there's little cracks here and there, but I think it would probably look kind of weird if you filled it in. And then on the hand, he does have the roots going down, and it's supposed to be on the other hands as well, but again, it's, I don't think it's updated, uh, you know, tattoos. But that is the full Jeff Hardy custom. So now we can look at both customs side by side. All right, guys, here we have both Hardys side by side. And I think both of them look very, very good. Very happy with both of them. So happy to have two customs of my one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Jeff Hardy. Looks so amazing. Um, the one on the left is more of like an updated current style Jeff Hardy. And the one on the right is more of a throwback uh, 07 era style Jeff Hardy, but I think both of them fit very nice. I think the head scans can work for either a current day or throwback. Um, really enjoy both of them, but uh, the formulas, which formula do you like better? Do you guys like the one on the left or the one on the right? Here a shot of the legs. Um, I like it both. Uh, it's very hard to choose which one I like more, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below which Hardy you like more. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.